to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A blessed day to all of you, dear brothers and sisters, and also our fellow worshipers in other parts of the world joining us through this live stream from the shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word. The evangelist Mark, sometimes identified also as John Mark, is thought to be a son of a personality in Jerusalem, uh, Mary of Jerusalem. And according to uh, commentaries that he belonged to a family, a Hellenized family of Jerusalem, who placed his house at the disposition of the first Christians. Some even think that uh, it is possible that this house opened uh, to Christ and to his disciples as the place, a possible place of the so-called Last Supper of the Lord. And uh, Mark accompanied uh, Paul in his missionary, first missionary journey. Uh, but uh, it seems that uh, there, were, there was a conflict between them and he did not participate the uh, this missionary journey of Paul with enthusiasm he returned later on to Jerusalem alone and there was a uh, controversy or uh, animated discussion between Paul and Barnabas about him about Mark on the occasion of their planning of the second uh, missionary journey of Paul. It is uh, also known that he followed uh, St. Peter to Rome and afterwards placed himself at uh, his uh, service, now, especially during his imprisonment. And again, finally, he would place himself at the service of Paul during his, also his imprisonment. Mark presents Jesus, known through the experience of his own disciples and apostles. A question arises to present Jesus to the world even today. Who is he? No. It is a gospel conceived in a very special perspective or light. That of, we see, for example, in this uh, presentation of who Jesus is, that uh, contrast, painful contrast between Christ who with uh, clothed with the uh, uh, power of healing, forgiveness, and victory over the demons, but at the same time also presents him as someone mocked by people who was uh, also present the downfall of Jesus. When uh, the opportunity presents itself, Mark does not hesitate to present also or to show the same opposition not only on the larger circle but also to his own, of his own group of disciples and his own family itself. And Mark presents this scandalous contrast with the very Paschal mystery itself by showing that in it a profound dynamics or law of God's plan is fulfilled 
which is also found in every Christian vocation. The gospel of the humiliated and opposed Messiah, suffering and crucified, led paradoxically to the confession of faith of that centurion witness at his crucifixion. He is truly the Son of God. It is that he saw behind this suffering person the Son of God. Probably this is also the conviction of Saint Mark that he saw the, the Messiah in this suffering person. Mark is the evangelist who highlights more than any of those evangelists the betrayal committed by Judas and the denial of Peter selling Christ and refusing to recognize him in our brothers and sisters also lurks behind every one of our Eucharistic celebration or supper and maybe this is a, a reminder for all of us that uh, who who try to follow Christ also as a warning that uh, yes we may follow like his disciples but we should also be careful and aware that we can become Judas or Peter. Amen.